Okay, so to add a little detail to the scene uh, and a little visual interest, we're going to bring in some plant models. So I provided uh, a bunch of pretty decent uh, plant models for you. Um, and let's see here. Let's uh, let's just look at two ways to do this. So you can import um, the model if you like. Yeah. And what that does is it basically brings the geometry uh, into your scene. And um, it's, well, why is it so big? I guess is a, a question. Well, if we think about this right now, these are just centimeters, right? So this whole thing, if we we're going to think about it in reality, is actually quite small. And we can think about world scale uh, at some other point, but these models are actually the size they are in real life. So, so that's why they're coming in so big, right? They're actually life size. Um, so, you know, we could scale it down and move it and, and yada yada. So I'm going to, let's see here, increment and save. And then over in the finder, we're going to just look for this scene. Do a mesh light demo. All right. So this is 8.6 megabytes. And before it was 191 kilobytes, right? So that plant. Uh, is a lot has a lot more data in it than our scene did before. Now, sometimes you want to work like this, and that's totally fine. But often, a smarter way to go is to do this: uh, file create reference. Now, what a reference will do is it will create a link to the original file. Um, and so this is a way that you could, say, collaborate with a team of people, like each one working on a different object or somebody's working on the lighting. And this is kind of like how a, how a pipeline would start to come into being. So let's, let's do that. Maya, uh, what do I want to do with this? Uh, I think I'm going to... Use namespace and I'm going to add my own little string here. Yep. So namespace is a way for Maya to ensure that um, the names of models and shaders and stuff don't uh, contradict each other. You can't have two things with the same name because that would uh, that would break things, and that's what namespace says. So I'm making a little string so I know that I imported this, and I'm hitting reference, um, and there's my plant. All right, now as I go. Move this thing around. We'll put it right on this little shelf here. My camera. That. Um, and I say, all right, increment and save. And we look in the finder, let's see what it says. Uh, scenes, much like demo. All right, so 10 is 192 kilobytes, right? And that's because it's pointing to that other file. And what's cool about, there's a lot of things that are cool about this. One is like two people can work on the scene at the same time. The other thing that's cool is if you set this up right, you can replace it with another model, right? Keep the position and yada, yada, yada. And what's also cool about references, if I go File, Reference Editor, see everything you've done to that reference. So you can, 
you can reset them um, and, and, you know, kind of see everything that's happened since it's been in the scene. All right. Which goes along with this whole Maya is a list of commands thing. Right. Now the trick with references is it's setting a command to a specific thing. Right. So it's, it's a, it says, okay, find group one, do all this stuff to group one. Now, if you're, the thing you're referencing wasn't called group one in your scene, this wouldn't work, right? So this is why like studios will have like naming conventions and, uh, and all that sort of thing so that, you know, the files will work as they go flying around. Um, so for me, I just, whatever I make, I just group it. <laughs> and then that way it ensures that it'll work on the root level um, of the reference. Reference, place, that one. I'm going to create a new reference. Uh, create reference, and we'll go. Cactus is pretty cool. All right, um, save that. Uh, I also want to assign, uh, and for this project, I want everything to just be matte, white, standard surface, all right? This is all about placement and lighting. We're not worrying about material at all yet, so we just need a nice <coughs> white material to work with. All right, so we are ready to look at lighting next.